A very warm greetings to all. Today, it's my pleasure to give an overview or a first look towards our design project that's about sustainable multi-story parquet. Myself, Arsha, along with me as my team members, it's Bharat Balan and Raghla. We were guided by Mr. Arjun, Assistant Professor at Trinity College of Engineering. Our presentation is actually divided into seven parts, which consist of abstract, introduction, literature review, why this topic, objectives and future scope, and reference. Talking about our first part, that's abstract. Parkit is actually a Canadian word, which means a building designed for car parking and having a number of levels in it. We are going to discuss the problems we currently facing through the present parkades and we are going to have a cost comparison between the new model and the old ones. We are going to make the new model more cost efficient up to 20-40% and making it socially and environmentally beneficial and consistent. As cities and communities continue to grow, the need for vertical design structure is becoming an important consideration. So, as more facilities, housing and office buildings are being constructed, the need for parking facilities will continue to grow as well. But can these parking structures be sustainable? All street parking is more concerned in urban cities. Even if we get an off-street parking, having a multi-story parkade, its own challenges will be increasing, which leads us to have a look at our ben sustainable models benefits. So I stated earlier, we will be having a vertical descent, which will be a perfect space saving structure. So next one will be efficient use of space. These parkades can be a dead building if we are not utilizing the empty spaces and converting it into an entertainment one. Less toxic gases. Presently used construction materials in such parkades are very toxic to the environment. Even with the interference with the heat which leads to a large amount of carbon emission. So making the construction materials into a sustainable one will lead to less carbon emission. Even these structures will be dealing with a huge amount of heat at the same period. So reducing the heat will be a main concern involving and having a carbon farming besides it will be a very helpful means to heat, reduce the heat effect. Of course, a half street parking is more safer than the street ones. So these buildings will be having a very automatic system and making it more safe for civilians. Converting such buildings into a zero energy building will be more important, beneficial for the present needs and making it into a LEED perfect building too. So talking about our literature review, we went through four journals. First one was Journal of Sustainable Construction Material and Technology by Ildis Technical University. So here they discussed about the, what kind of construction materials we can use or replace than the present ones. Second one was Metropolis Parking Problems and Management. Of course, talk, before having a perfect model, we do have to deal with the problems. So this was by Human New. Next one is IoT based intelligent parking. I stated earlier we will be having an automatic system. So IoT, Internet of Things will be a main concern up here. This was by B Supply and Team. Another one is demand and characteristics of parking systems in urban areas. Huge traffic concern is all about in the urban areas. So we do have to get the civilians demand what kind of a pocket they need and all. This was what Janet Parmar and team. So why this topic? Why we took this topic? We're going to discuss it. So over 2020's recent statistics, it states that 3.4 million vehicles are there on road. Talking about India. There's four to two wheelers in common in large amount. So where to park this huge amount of park, 
vehicles. That's where the need for park kit come to reduce the traffic. Moreover, India has a lot of busy cities where the traffic is a major cause. These park vehicles parking along the side of roads makes it difficult to control the upcoming traffic too. As its vertical structure, the amount of land needed for parking lots can be reduced. And of course, where there is so no such parking lots, we park where we get space. That's where the no parking signs arises and an illegal parking has been done. We are familiar with the consistent consistent structures and the present parkades. Such buildings are actually dead buildings. Got to utilize these structures and making it more sustainable. That is restoring these structures. Here in figure 4, I am actually showing a major of MG road at Trivandrum. There we can see illegal parking along with uh, or street parking to making it difficult for civilians to go to the shops even. Figure 5 actually shows the suffocated parking and figure 6 we are all familiar with such images, illegal parking. Another one is we went to a case study that's about a parking building at LA and a Buckland design. Buckland design was actually an ideal because they actually incorporated the carbon farming along with parking. They do have a four level parkade and it really reduces the pollution of heat. Which leads us to our objective, what we are going to attain at the end of this project. We will be making this building into a LEED idea. Cost comparison will be done, making it structurally strong. Even if we are having a sustainable ones, we do need to have a concern over the load we are going to be dealing with. So making the structure strong is our main concern. Restoring the existing buildings. Replacing the current construction materials. Of course, we don't have to have a toxic gas producing material. So we are going to make it sustainable way, making this building a zero energy building. Next one is future scope. Of course, by 2030, we will be having residential buildings, commercial buildings, offic official buildings, all in a sustainable manner. Even the work has been already done. So taking in our, in our mind, parkades do need to be sustainable. So the near replacing of the present structures is our main concern. More space for increasing number of vehicles. Of course, by 2030, this 3.4 million will be increased by 5 million. So the space for such a huge amount of vehicles will be very problematic. More affordable to civilians. Of course, presently the parkets will be giving a 10 rupees. For saving that 10 rupees renter for one hour, he used to park our cars on street. If we can provide 5 rupees rent for an hour, the civilians will be having or uh, having this practice of having this these kinds of sustainable parkades. There will be a perfect solution for carbon emission too. So reference earlier I discussed about the journals, four journals, and moreover, we went through our daily academic queue and parking next websites too for more information so this brings to the end of our presentation to having a look at the sustainable one the benefits will be a huge number we have stated a few number but in future these models will be coming to india and can be implemented in here too so Please feel free to ask questions in the comment section. We will be answering it soon. Thank you.